everybody. Well, today is September the 23rd, of course, 2024, and it's 0702. We just got back from the market, but I'm pretty sure you all don't want to see, see another market video for at least for a while. It was a pretty good market day, huh, Miles? Mm -hmm. Got us some wheat bread. Yes, they sell wheat bread here. Got us some new bake wheat and bread. Here we go, right here. Yep, got two loaves of that. It cost me 70 pesos a loaf. It's a little over a dollar. I'm, I, I ain't doing. I ain't got the exchange rate in my head, huh? One forty. Huh? One forty. Yeah, one forty for two loaves, seventy pesos a piece. Also, I picked up. Out of my own Federal Reserves, I picked up two chickens. <laughs> I picked up two chickens and also Bet. picked up... Are you okay? <laughs> and also I picked up two, uh, a leg, two, uh, two legs and thighs. Got, that was three kilos. What I get them for? No I can either feed them to the dog or we can eat it. And Miles, we got the usual ribs. And these are for our spoiled dogs. What else do we get? Yeah, I, I get. She got some string beans, tomatoes, some carrots, not carrots, I'm looking at, and uh, cabbage. See, we, we only, uh, what we do is salt. we just, huh? Oh, but you got some salt. You think Gar you got enough salt? Yeah, garlic. Yeah. And you got, you got some garlic. garlic. What we do is we just replenish our stock. So we just don't, yeah, we replenish our stock. In other words, like the meat in the freezer and the vegetables. Miles always keeps an ongoing uh, inventory of food in the house. We'll never, we'll never starve. That's what I'm trying to say. What do you got planned for today, Miles? No, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Same thing for me. I ain't got anything planned. That's all we really got. Tomorrow, today, as you notice, is exchange rate day. I'm doing it every Tuesday and Friday instead of every day of the week. It just seems like that's when the people, more people are interested either Tuesday beginning of the week or the end of the week, which is Friday. So, you work with them. So I'll go ahead and let you go for now. I gotta go hang up some laundry. Yes, Miles and myself, we share our work, right Miles? Yeah. We share our work, you know. In other words, I don't say, oh, that, you, that's woman's work. I hate that word or that phrase, that's woman's work. It just tells me the guy's lazy, you know? <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, that's woman's work. Why, he's sitting around on his ass all day long, not doing anything. Oh, that's woman's work. Nah, dude, you're just lazy. All right, man. I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Yeah, me and Miles decided we want to have a barbecue today. We're going to have barbecue a whole chicken. We already got it, butterfly. Miles has been marinating since last night. But this is how we started. We started with this fire chimney or starter, whatever you want to call it. I, me, myself, want to get one of those one burner propane cookers things and hook it up to a propane bottle, turn it on, walk away, come back a couple minutes later and boom, it's done. Instead of all this. Miles says, oh no, no, no need. <laughs> That's dangerous. Huh? Dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. <laughs> you use them all the time to cook? So how is it dangerous? Is it dangerous when you use on the clock? Remember that you are cooking charcoal. I understand that. Mm. But you just, the flames down here, the charcoal's up here. The flame gets heats up the charcoal. Once the charcoal is good to go, you pour it into the, the cook, the, the uh, barbecue grill. Easy peasy, you know? So, We'll be working on this for a few. I think either the wood is uh, damp 
for the charcoal stain. We haven't used it in a while. Here's the here's our smoker. We haven't used this in a while. You need to clean it. Yeah, I need to pressure wash it. I know I said that like a half a million times before. What did I just say, young lady? I just said I said it before. There you go. So we'll get this started. Let the charcoal sit for a little bit. Let them come up the temp. Then I'm going to throw on that chicken. I'll talk in a little bit. Cool. Got the charcoals in there. Just let it sit for a little bit. Let it come to temp. And the magic will begin. Well, got the chicken in there now. Now time will tell. How long is it going to take? It takes as long as it takes to get it done. I check on it every once in a while, man. They always use them gloves. But I'll check back in a little bit. Yep, I'm back. Miles is over there chilling. Enjoying our lazy, lazy day. Yeah, the most extravagant thing we had today was going to the market. Whew. And that was at what? Six o'clock this morning. Six thirty. I'll get them. I'll get them. I'll get them. I think I think Mucky's feeling a little yucky. Yucky today. Yep, he's back in. Come on, bud. Come on. He for a while he's just kind of embarrassed because he tried to jump up on the couch. And his front legs were going, but his back legs were like, nope, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> right, Mark? Front leg cannot. Yeah. Uh, he's getting old. He's what, eight years old now? Seven. Seven. I thought he was eight. Yes, it's seven last, last February, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's an old guy. Plus, he's got that bad left leg. Well, the chicken is done. Now keep in mind we use barbecue sauce so you're going to see little burnt spots here and there. But there it is right there. Yep. And Miles is, well, I don't know, something fish with some vegetables. And that's the dog's food. Yeah, they're spoiled. But other than that, man, our day's been really chill. Nothing, nothing crazy going on. What's the plan for tomorrow? No. Nah. Nothing. We don't, we don't plan our days. We'll wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and say, hey, you want to do this today? You want to do that today? I'm hoping. We had no rain today. It's The sun's really not out. It's been pretty cloudy, but I'm hoping tomorrow morning I can cut the grass. Yeah, Miles is... You ever watch these videos where the guys go into like a, a person's house, like an elderly or somebody that can't, you know... That's free. Handicap, and they'll go in there and clean up the yards, cut it for free. Miles is like... I have never seen somebody sit there and watch a movie from a one a video from the beginning to the end. Miles like really likes these movies. Well, not movies. Because vlogs. You see, just like they are doing, they are they do uh, an effort just to clean their surroundings, and the pe the people who who's on this property they cannot even uh, help it. Well, some of them can't help, Miles. I, like I explained to you before, some people just physically, they can't do it. Like that one guy, the one that video you were watching yesterday, yeah, yeah. the guy had had congested heart failure. He says, I'm, I can't really do that much. And they, the guy does it. I'm pretty sure he's backed by sponsors, the, guy, the people that do it. And also YouTube, you know, making the videos. But I think, you know, no matter what, it's a win-win situation. The person owns the property is getting their yard cleaned up. And the person doing it, it you know, the person it's a satisfying job, yeah. you know, doing for something sure. for people. After they clean this one, people want, will come there and chilling at the at back of their... Yeah, see that's the part she don't like when she sees young people like standing over, that, that live at the house, they just stand around and watch and it's like, she's like, won't you help them? Yeah. But she also said, the last video she watched, okay, they had this garage that was basically, it was condemned, okay, it was falling apart. And I was like, 
You get a couple of Filipinos on that when that garage knocking it down, they haven't done it in a day. Right, Miles? <laughs> That's not a bad thing. And they would take the wood, the good wood, and use it for something. Well, charcoal, charcoal, firewood. Yeah. I'm not knocking them. That's just the way they are. They do. If you ever watch, matter of fact, I sat there and watched at our property in Lasan. Remember when they were knocking down that one house behind our property? How long? It took them, what, two days? They, they were done at Wolf. And they were using hand, they were using sledgehammers and hammers. They weren't using no damn bulldozers or anything like that. I think it was like two or three days. It was a, it was a, it, it was a, the house of my cousin? It was a two story, yes. Yeah, it's, the, oh, that is the family house. It was what, a two bedroom house, wasn't it? Was it a two bedroom house? I don't know because I didn't. Up and down. Yeah, it was a two story house. No, the one they knocked down. It wasn't up and down. Up, up and down. They say up and down is that that means two stories. No, it was on one floor, wasn't it? There's up and down. Okay, whatever. I don't know if it was up and down one story. I don't. I don't remember. But they had that thing gone within like three days. It was gone. Any you would never know there was a house there. And it was how many Filipinos doing it? Three or four of them? I think uh, four of them. Yeah, four of them. Four of them. So I'll tell you, man, you tell me, hey, have at it. Don't have that, don't have it. And that was a simple structure. It was just a, a, a simple structure, man. Four walls, a roof, and that was it. You know, the walls were basically falling in. Mm. All right, man, with that being said, I know. Who cares, right? Yeah, well, Miles is watching. I tell you, man, she she watches these videos from the beginning to the end. It's funny. She's just amazed how they do, the way they do things with the with the tools and stuff like that. Yeah. See, she can't get over. You know those riding lawnmowers, the big ones where they stand and they cut. She can't get over that. She's like, "What is that?" I said, "It's a lawnmower." No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, you know when a guy stands up and, and cuts. See, look at look at her face. <laughs> Cutting the, mm -hmm. I think it's a kind of citrus. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Miles. Yeah, she likes it. She likes them videos. She's she's just amazed at the tools they have. Not, it says work the, smarter, not, not harder. The, not, not only the tools, they're effort to clean the. Tool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're doing without, it for nothing. Without nothing, without. I mean, it's free. Some people enjoy doing things just to help people. You don't have to put a dollar, a dollar with everything, Miles. Some people just enjoy doing it. Like I said, a lot of times they have backers, people, you know, to pay for the equipment, pay for the gas and everything like that. And then they have YouTube, you know, with their, with their AdSense, you know? I mean, but it is a good feeling when you help. I mean, I used to do it when I was in Navy. We used to do that a lot. You know, repairing roofs and stuff like that. I, it's very satisfying. You know, you're helping somebody. And if I were them, I, I feel, I feel good. Yeah. people like that. Yeah. Without. Without expecting anything in return. Yeah, yeah. At least give them a, a at least give them a, 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 a glass of tea, iced tea. Yeah. You <laughs> see, they cannot even offer them. Some of my, my, some people just. They, they, it's just, I don't know. I'm not trying to make excuses for them. Well, anyway, okay, okay. We, we, we. <laughs> all right. All right, man. So I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as it was it is. But uh, remember, stay happy. Bye for now. You going to say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye. <laughs> She's too much into this video, man. All right, bye.